when other people affect you, um, what that um, what that does to your energy. Is it positive um, effect on you? Is it a negative effect on you? Do you let it affect you? Do you know how to protect yourself? Um, do you know what it looks like when somebody else's energy or their vibe is trying to impede on your space? Let's say you, you meet up, you have a friend that's like an energy vampire and you talk to them and then they just suck it all, like suck the life out of you. Like think about that vibe, that energy. It's really rough to be around when people are hard to be around because they're just, they suck everything out of you because they don't have it for themselves. So think about that. Um, just think about the people in your life. Think about yourself. Think about, um, what these relationships are doing to you energetically and um, really give yourself an honest assessment of what, what you're exposing yourself to because um, I guess throughout my journey I've really found that if I'm super honest with myself, which is all I do now is basically super honest and people don't necessarily like that because I'm really honest all the time. Um, but um, if you are, you're really able to kind of just find your part in accountability with this whole thing and manage your, yourself, manage your vibe, manage what you are doing because as, um, you know, it's like me having fibromyalgia and lupus, right? Um, what is happening to me energetically that I have those conditions or that I've manifested those conditions? Like something had to happen. So following my body, following the story, following what I've done to energetically put myself in that place, it's actually a kind of interesting because it's a story. And so energetically speaking, um, our body and um, is trying to tell us a story about what's happening to us. And as I've been exploring that, I've been finding out that deep down, you know, these old cellular memories, these old vibes that I have, these old carried patterns and old beliefs, they're very, um, they're very deeply hidden. And actually, um, I have found that a lot of my injury is from past life. And um, people don't know this because, you know, who's going to tell you this? But I know because I read people. And a lot of your physical injuries on your body now are related to your past life. And um, so what's manifesting now is trying to tell you a story about not only what you're, what you're not allowing your body to say, but um, expression through your body, through your cells. And we carry old cellular memory. memory. So if you haven't been cleared from what's happening before, and most of us haven't, because how would we know how to do that? Then um, what happens is we carry all those things with us. And we can be prone to injuries in certain spots. We can have things in certain areas, but they are related to energetic components of past life and um, it's very interesting and if you listen to your body if you listen to energetically what it's trying to say to you engage with it hear the story start the dialogue between you and you and you man I tell you you will actually find out I found out about um, injuries to me in past life and then I did past life regression and I found out that um, they were actually from a huge injury I sustained so your body's trying to tell you something. Your vibe is trying to sell you something. It's all a story, this life, and engaging with it and managing this energetic consumption because energetically, like I was saying, to bring it right back to disease, like if my vibe wasn't producing that, um, if my energetic field wasn't producing that vibration to create dissonance in my field, in um, to create um, disease in my field, then it wouldn't have happened. So I had to really look at myself energetically and be beyond honest. And I don't mean one day, one month, one year. It's every day and it's like ripping layers off every single day. It's very, very, very ruthlessly honest with myself and really listening to everything that my life and my body and my energy is trying to say to me because it's all a message, your life, it's all a conversation. It's communication between your higher self and you. So listen to your life, listen to your body, listen to what's manifesting for you, listen to your disease if something has manifested in your life. Look at your vibe, look at your energy, look at your input, look at your output, um, look at your consumption. Just be very honest with yourself. It's a beautiful thing when you're able to find out who it is that you are through honest assessment and um, conversation between you and your higher self. So I love talking about energy. I love talking about vibes. I love talking about what we've done to ourselves. I love talking about getting out of our own patterns. I love helping us just pull ourselves out of this because I know I didn't have 
people to help me. I would find people along the way, but I didn't have consistent people to help me. So I know it's very important for us to pass these words along. We are all very important messengers for each other. So make sure and pass these messages on, messages on, be um, light for other people. And as always, y'all, thanks for listening and um, hanging with me on my journey. I love to share with you. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, check the blog out at DreaLove.com. You can find everything there. Have a beautiful Saturday. Love y'all.